What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. What we have in front of us here is the ThinkPad X270. And what we'll do is go ahead and open up the back. Well, I'll show you guys how to replace the memory or upgrade it, the hard drive, the internal battery, and just a few other notes as well. So to start off, there is an external battery here that we can remove by pulling these tabs away from each other. So just do it one by one. It tells you a number one, right? And then you can do the second one, go in that order. Uh, just a quick note, they uh, they have a slimmer battery and then there's a thick one like this. So the slim battery is like this one, basically. So if I take this out. So the slim battery is like so. And then they have the uh, thick battery as well. For the back cover, um, it's held down by a number of screws. Now, for the majority of the time, these screws will actually stay in there because there's a little washer that's holding the screw in. Um, but then you may have some screws that actually come out. So basically when you twist, when you turn these screws, if they come out like so, that means maybe you don't have a washer that's holding the screw in. And just so you guys know, the screw, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight screws. And then to remove this case, um, you want to try to put your nail, get this case uh, opened a little bit, and just be patient with it. And the case will come out just like so. Then you can just work your way around. Um, this will help you know if there is any basically screws still stuck on the thread. Now as for the back, you just wiggle and then it will come out. So the back has some tabs that holds it down. And then you get your case out just like so. And here's our interior. So the first thing I want to start with, of course, is the internal battery. Now, before we work on anything else, we want to go ahead and unplug it. So the battery connection starts from here and then you can just take your cable and then just wiggle it left and right slowly and then it will come out. To remove this internal battery, it's held down by one, two and three screws. And I just want to quickly note that um, you want to be gentle when you put these screws back on. Don't overdo it because the brackets are very fragile and they can break. So here's one screw. And three. And then it's simple as really just taking the battery out. So yeah, be very careful because if you can you know you can actually kind of see how this this tab here is a little bit cracked. So if you over tighten the screws, it will end up breaking these brackets. And then um, before I jump into anything else, now that we removed our internal battery, you can see our CMOS battery here exposed. And if you follow the cable, it's actually right here. Uh, you just pry out this um, connection if you ever need to replace it. And this is just held down by a little bit of uh, double-sided tape. Now you can just run that cable basically underneath here. For the memory, um, there's these two tabs, and it's simple as pushing or pulling these tabs away from each other, and then your memory module will come out, and you just slide it out, up and out. And this laptop uh, currently has an eight gigabyte uh, PC4 um, memory module. Now, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put everything back as I'm removing them, except for the battery. So to, to put your memory uh, module back on, if you try to put it the wrong way, it won't work because of the notch. So uh, usually the sticker that has the information will be facing down. And then you just slide it in and then you push it in, push it down. And then you'll hear that click and then you'll hold it in position. Now let's focus our attention here to the hard drive area. Now, it looks like a um, basically an enclosure for a 2.5 inch uh, hard drive or SSD, but this laptop actually has an M.2. Now, to remove this enclosure, um, there's one screw that holds it down. We'll remove that screw, and then this case will come out just like so. Now, of course, you still have to remove the connection here, and if we um, 
this use something if you if you have nails you can use that as well but there is you may need to remove this this cable a little bit out of the way that's for the speaker but then there's a little metal bracket as you can see that just came out like so and then just wiggle this a little bit left and right and then it'll come out just like so now if i flip this over there's another connection here on the side that you can also simply do the same thing just remove take out that um uh bracket and then uh, pull this connection out as well but i'll keep that on um to access our m.2 you want to remove these two screws that will remove this case cover and then this will come out just like so and there's our m.2 um to remove the m.2 there's one screw that's always usually holding down the m.2 so let's remove that screw and then pull it up and then wiggle left and right and it will come out just like so now this this one has uh the the one notch um and if we look here we can tell why it has uh where the basically the lower barrier is so that's the reason why so for, for example if i wanted to put this back on and put it in this way of course you won't go in but for the for the m.2 uh, this one specifically is 256 gigabytes of course you can buy an upgrade to 500 one terabyte now to put the m.2 back on uh, we'll just go ahead and push that in all the way and then when you drop it you'll see that it's perfectly aligned where with the where the screw hole is so we'll take our screw put that back on and then we'll take our cover here align it with the screw holes and we'll take our screws and put those back on all right now to put this enclosure back on here the first thing we want to do is start with this connection because if we put this on we might not have a lot of clearance to put this back on so is this easier to put this back on first? And I'll try to move the laptop facing this way so you guys can see. Uh, once you push this all the way in, you should look almost very flush, right? Just like so. And then we'll take our little bracket area, uh, just push it down until it clicks in position. And for the enclosure, um, it sits just like so and once you see that the screw hole is aligned then you're pretty much good to go there and you can always kind of take your cable and try to tuck it back into where it used to be as much as you can and before i go ahead and put my battery um, back on as well i just want to cover a few other things um, the wi-fi card if you wanted to replace that there's two wi-fi um, antenna uh, cables here one black and this one looks gray uh, just remember the positioning of where they used to be if you're replacing this and there's one screw that's holding it down and then finally um, you know if you have overheating issues let's say you needed to reapply thermal paste your heat sink is right here um, i'm not going to really cover this in this video but if it is requested i will go ahead and do that in a different video but the heat sink is held down by four screws and it looks like the fan module most likely comes out with it and then you just clean your old thermal paste with cotton swab and rubbing alcohol and then apply a dash of thermal paste onto the cpu or heat sink really varies now to put this battery back on um, it sits right away into position um, you can we can see here that our screw holes are aligned and we'll take our screws and put those on hand tight and not very tight as well so just a little bit we don't want to overdo it and break those tabs and then finally we'll take our battery connection plug it back into the motherboard just push it with your thumb and looks like we're good there we'll take our cable and just tuck it into position here and we're good now of course before you put your case back on just make sure you know just remember everything that you unplugged and make sure that everything is plugged into position 
And very best practice is you can go ahead and put your case back on into position. And before you screw it on, flip your laptop, turn it on and make sure everything is working. To put this case back on, just uh, be very gentle again with the case and um, just be patient with it. But you have to kind of work your way around. You'll see this, for example, some areas might not be pushed all the way. So we'll just figure out what's causing it. You may need to pull the cover away from certain areas and just push it down. And then this area here where the external battery is usually gets clipped into here. So we'll just push it. And there's our clicks and everything else looks good. We'll take our screwdriver and screw everything back on. And then finally, we can take our battery and just simply slide it until it clicks on. And then we are good to go. Now, of course, you know, we want to turn on our computer. In my case, I think I need to plug it in because this computer hasn't been turned on in a long time. So let me get you guys over here. Now I have, um, I, I ended up plugging a type C for this 270. It does support type C, um, for charging as well. And as long as we don't see any errors come up, we are good to go. And there you have it guys. I hope that this video was helpful and I will see you guys on the next one.